what's up everybody today we're going to be cutting some porphyry on my lapidary saw and not only are we going to be cutting it but i'm also going to be sharing with you a brand new discovery to me maybe to a lot of you and it's not even in some books so let me show you what i'm talking about all right so here is my bucket of porphyry i'm going to try to get as much of this stuff cut before the sun goes down got my ppe a couple of minnesota lake superior rock books and one cut piece of porphyry I'm really excited about this. So, the discovery, so excited. So porphyry, which says in these books, is a volcanic rock with crystal inclusions inside them. You can see in a lot of this stuff, it has crystals in it. And for fun, the other day, I cut one of them open. This one, right here. And I actually shared that on my Instagram account, cutting it open, but I didn't show in close detail what was found on the inside of this. Now the discovery that I found that I think is really cool in this book, and I have both of these books up on my Amazon storefront. They are great, great books. Here. And here it talks about porphyry. Volcanic rock, crystal inclusions. It says porphyry is commonly mistaken for amygdaloidal basalt or amygdaloidal rhyolite. They're not the same thing. Two different things. But... Let me show you something. And this is the discovery. Here's the porphyry that I cut. One of my favorite pieces. And now you're probably wondering, what is it? Right there. That is agate banding in porphyry. Agate banding in basalt is amygdaloidal basalt. It says that they're not the same thing. But here we have porphyry, these feldspar crystals, and agate banding in the same. <laughs> I can't tell you how excited I was when I found that. So that's one of the things that I'm hoping when we cut some of these other pieces of porphyry, maybe some others have agate banding inside it. I highly doubt it because not a lot of the host rack that I have looks similar to this, but we'll see. I got this thing filled up already. I'll get it started and we'll start cutting some porphyry. Alrighty, I'm gonna cut some of the smaller ones first. We're just gonna cut them right in half. Real quick, real quick. <laughs> All right, let me get those hosed off and I'll show you. All right, so that first one that we cut, I don't know why it was so hard. I just put a new blade on, so I don't know, maybe just had to work some of the kinks out. <laughs> but mind the saw marks. I think it's my fault. I kind of pushed it a little hard there. That is pretty stuff. I don't see any Ega bands in there. That's okay. I have a feeling it's going to be very hard to find that again. Hopefully we can uh, see lightning strike twice. That is so pretty. Those crystals in there. Awesome. I like this one. This one went so quick. Just sped right through the cut. Look at those beautiful crystals in there. Gosh, that is so cool. <laughs> That is awesome. So I'm gonna move on to a bigger one. This guy right here, this is white. So what I wanna do is just kinda cut some faces off it and see if we can just turn it into a nice little desk piece. But isn't that pretty? Really unique porphyry. Love that. <laughs> I 
changed my mind with what I wanted to do with that one. I just like the way that this natural state looks right here, the way it kind of wraps around. But check that out. That is just dense. It's so dense. So we'll polish these two faces and then it can be a desk piece however I want it to kind of sit. But that is pretty. Oh, I like that a lot. All right, up next for the chopping block. This guy, it's got some really weird crystal inclusions going on in there. It feels really soft, like it does not feel like it is basalt. It just, I feel like this is gonna cut up very, very fast. Um, so I'll probably take a face off there, face off there, and then we'll see how it looks at that point. That did cut super quick. Kind of surprised by the insides. Very, very dense crystals. Not as pretty as the other stuff. It's kind of cool though. Almost looks like a piece of uh, meat. Like a roast. But hey, that's cool. I like the other ones better, but... Yeah, you know what's weird too is like, you can see it's dry there. It is very intact feeling. Just feels whole, feels solid. But right here, it feels like if I just smashed it, it'd just break. It's so weird. It's just so weathered on the outside. Hmm. Interesting. Let's see what's up next. Got this one. It's kind of thin. I think we'll be able to sneak it through, but right here that pocket right there it seems like something that was found on the other one that had agate in there right there as well so uh, let's cut this one open and we'll see what's going on in there <laughs> it's all a heavy here <laughs> I just realized in my last video where I talked about blade safety. I didn't even show you how safe these blades are. Look at it, I'm touching it, it's wet. My fingers are fine. Touching the top. The finger's fine, okay? It grinds away at the stone, it doesn't cut. It grinds, watch. It grinds, okay? It's safe. It's all good, you guys. It's all good. Now we gotta find that. <laughs> Get it back in the groove. Alrighty, let's check it out. That went like butter. I don't see any, but it's beautiful. Very, very pretty. It's a little light with those sprays, those crystals. I was hoping there'd be something because of that, but I don't see any. That's alright. Really pretty. Alrighty, so we're going to cut this one, and uh, not exactly sure what we're going to do yet. Maybe we'll just cut this one in half since we got a couple others I want to cut before the sun goes down. We'll just play it safe with that and see what's going on inside. If there's a lot, maybe if there's some agate bands going on in there, we'll make some other slabs out of it. Not a bad idea. <laughs>
is pretty. Yeah, it's so pretty. Lots of really good crystals. Awesome. Alright, we're gonna cut this pork potato. It's a really pretty piece. Lots of crystals. What should we do with it? Hmm? Should we slab this one since it's got so many? We'll just make a couple slabs out of it. Those turned out awesome. Look at how beautiful that is. That's the little end piece. So I figured I would uh, just do a couple slabs of it and uh, we can make some stuff out of this. Keep this piece for maybe if I want to do anything else with it, a little bit left over, but I want to at least take a, a chunk out of this and see what's going on in there. Uh, maybe we can get one more chance at finding some egg and porphyry. I think we got lucky with that one, which is totally crazy. And the sun's about to set, so what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cut the bottom here, and then we're going to cut it in half. And maybe I can use it as like a couple display pieces. So let's do that before the sun goes down. Ah, oh, dang. I forgot about this one. I'm going to do this one too. I'll do both those here. This one's cool because it's red. It's got like a very red host rock in it. I'm gonna do the same with both these. I'm gonna cut the bottom, cut it in half, okay? It there, that was that was big. Let's get this stuff cleaned up. I'll show you this and this red one inside. Alrighty, so I got all that porphyry cleaned up. I'm really excited to show you the last few pieces that we cut and a lot of the other really nice ones in better lighting. I know the sun was setting out there, so it's kind of hard to see. But if you could do me a huge favor before I show you, if you like today's video, leave a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. You can join us on all of our lapidary and rock hunting adventures. But let's take a look at this stuff. It's so awesome. Here we have that red and white one. Here's the bottom. I'm actually surprised at the inside with this one. I thought there would be more white crystal impressions. Not disappointed, just surprised. Obviously this side looks the same. Not the most glamorous display piece in my opinion. <laughs> Looked better on the outside, but hey, as I always say, that's the cost of exploration. And then this big piece, this is the, I don't know what you call it, the bottom, the butt. This is so beautiful. I'm going to have to take a closer look at some of these little pockets. See if we can find some agabands in there. Because I thought when I was outside that I saw some. But let me show you these two halves here. This one by far was my favorite cut of all of these. It turned out so amazing. So like I said, at the bottom, have it as a display piece, probably like this. Stuck together. How beautiful is that? So amazing. Those crystals, this pocket right here. And this whole thing is smooth. I don't feel any kind of pockets or pitting or anything. 
really cool. Let me take a close look to see if I can find any agate bands. So I took a good long look at all this porphyry that we cut today and I didn't find any more pockets of agate. Not disappointed. It just goes to show you how rare that piece is. Let's take a closer look at it. All right, so the piece right there, I'll put an arrow pointing at it. That's skipping at a maggot. There's another pocket right there. And then you can see the bands right there. And this isn't even the best one. See the couple pockets right there. That right there. And then this is the one that got me all excited, seeing that in the porphyry when I cut it. <laughs> that is so cool. Awesome. Well, leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of today's video. And if you like this one, I guarantee you like the one that pops up on the screen right now. Click that and join me on another adventure.